Jeff and Jeremy. It's like a radio gasm. I said, hey, babe, check it out on the podcast. Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, and Spotify. All this is going viral. Jeremy here, it's KZOZ. Don't forget, we got uh, $20 to go to Federico's Fresh Max. They're downtown San Luis Obispo under the wine men, and you can win that later if you know the show. The wine men. You say under the wine man. It's like, it makes it sound like it's like a. There's a man. There's a wine man down there. I thought I said wineman. You said under the wine man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, it just makes it sound like. I, I don't think a lot of people know the wine man as the landmark that you, you know the, the wine man as. Oh, really? I don't even live in Slow and I know where the wine man is. Right. But it's just a sign. But I mean, the wine man's not a place that you can go okay. to and, and, and you can't go in there and like. Patronize well, how should the, I reference the, it? The then? Wine I, I don't know on Hygera, but I don't. Hygera's know. a big street. There's a, there's a lot of places on Hygera. I yeah. think you do a fine job. Do you think they would like me to say next to Habit Burger, so the no, Habit Burger gets the? I don't think so. There's the a coffee shop there. There's the, uh, the next to the Van store, um, maybe okay. perhaps. But the Van store is relatively new. I don't know. A lot of, newer than the Wineman apartment complex. I'm pretty sure people know the Wineman more than they know the Van store. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't even know there was a van store down there. I don't know, because the Weinman, you can't go in and do anything at unless you know somebody that lives there. At the intersection of Choro and Hygera. Ah, that may, might be where you want to go with that. But it's still, you know, a quarter of a block up. I don't know. It's a little ways up. Next to where the old Chipotle used to be, now it's something else. I don't know. So anyways. Across the street. The Weinman Hotel. Bed, That's Bath, and Beyond. Called. That's what it's called. Is that what it is? Is that Bed, Bath, and Beyond? No. What, no. What is that place called? I don't know. Bed, Bath, and Body Works. I always, for, I always get those two mixed up. Oh, yeah. One sells just lotions. The other one sells everything. But the other one's going out of business. Which it, one's going out of business? Because it sells everything. Bed, Bath, and Beyond. They are? Yeah. Where, like, where am coast I? Coast to coast. Really? I, I don't know about the... I know that the one in Paso Robles is closing down for sure. I had no idea. But I don't know that the, uh, that the one in... in San Luis Obispo is. Oh, I would, well, that I would doesn't imagine. mean they're going out of business. It just means they're closing a store. No, they're closing like multiple stores w- across the country. I mean, is that because of the o- online shopping, or do you think that's because of... Uh... No, they got rid of their big... They have a big coupon. They have a big coupon, and they used to send the big coupon out, and then it gave you an excuse to go in there and save 20% on stuff. I just then, got one last week. And then you would buy more stuff. You still get the big coupon? They yeah. said they got rid of the big coupon. Did they bring the big coupon back? It might be too little too late on the big coupon. Because they had to close, they had to shutter the stores across the country. What about the one in San Luis Obispo? I don't know. Over in the Madonna Shopping Let's find Center. Out. Let's find out at Bed, That's... Bath, and Beyond. I would think that it would uh, be closing. Yeah, I want to say that we just got one the other, uh, not too long ago, and I threw it away. Like most of the mail I get is junk mail. That's why we probably don't, I, don't, I think most yes, people get mail. It is one of the six California locations that will close in 2020. What, the oh, one? wait. The San Luis Obispo store on Madonna Road will remain open as the only location in San Luis Obispo County. So Paso Robles is closing. San Luis Obispo, Triple B, is staying open. So you win that battle, San Luis Obispo. You still get the Triple B. Jeremy still can take his $20 coupon or 20% off coupon in there. That's Do you remember how big those coupons used to be? No, they're big. They're still that big. They should be that big. Well, I mean, they're pretty big, you know. It's like but they a, they made an effort to go away from it four or five years ago. They said, "Oh no, we're going to go away from the deep discount in the uh, in the big coupon department," and people just stop shopping there. Really? Because we've been getting those coupons for years. No, they went away with they went away with them for a while, and maybe they brought them back because they were so damn popular. I don't know. We get them. I swear, every couple of weeks we get a, we get one of those coupons in the mail. Okay, I'm going to look up the history of the big coupon for oh, okay Bed Bath. And I mouth. mean, I get the mail every day. I just know it's in there. I give it to my wife. She goes there. I don't go there. Oh, you know, trucks. Ah, uh, let's see here. Um, I just her mind escaped me. The uh, Tiffany, right? Tiffany from uh, Shannon. Nope. What was her name? I don't think so. I don't think her name was Tiffany. Okay. Well, they changed the winner on us last week, and uh, I have to go back and it's look. It's not Mike. I know that. Uh, Tina. Sorry, not Tiffany. Tina Martinez is Shandon. She's our uh, week six winner. We'll see who week seven is. I'll tell you who's in the lead right now. You want to take a guess? Mike Andrews. The Hurricane. <laughs> 78 <laughs> points so far on the week. Who's playing we'll tonight? see what happens uh, tonight Chicago in Monday and... Night Football. The Rams in Chicago. Oh. I believe the, 
the uh, b- the Bears oh. are traveling to uh, L.A. to take on the Rams. By the way, uh, Donahue Truck Centers, official sponsor of the Los Angeles Rams. That's right. So if you want to read any, anything into your picks for, for tonight, if you want to change it up, if you have the Chicago Bears sitting there, just know that the contest that is sponsored by Donahue Truck Centers sponsors the Los Angeles Rams. The official Rams. sponsors of the Los Angeles Rams. Boy, I did really bad this week. Um, I, I couldn't have got more games wrong, but there were so many games that I got wrong that were so close. Um, I picked uh, the the Raiders to upset the the the, the Bucks, um, and uh, well that that wasn't that wasn't close. Uh, <laughs> obviously, Seattle and Arizona overtime last night was a very close game. Uh, New England, oh, San Francisco was a complete blowout. What a mess! I just figured New England at home, Bill Belichick. Uh, they're coming off a bye, right? What was what was the issue here? I have no idea, but they couldn't put up more than three points. Now, Dallas, on the other hand, they're done. I, I don't know how they win another game. They are probably the worst team. I would say the Jets could beat the Cowboys right now. Ooh, that's a good – do they play each other? i got to look at that and see if that's the case. Because if they do, that's one to mark down on your calendars, ladies and gentlemen. Cowboys, Jets. Uh, the Giants and uh, no Jets. No Jets, unfortunately. Oh, that's a bummer. But uh, let's see. Their next matchup is the is the Philadelphia Eagles, which – they're terrible as well, but they'll get beat. Then they have to play Pittsburgh before their bye week. Minnesota, Washington, Baltimore, Cincinnati, San Francisco, Philadelphia. I love how bad that Indiana. NFC East is. That NFC East is so bad. I, I just love it. I love the fact that it's that bad. Uh, Tennessee losing uh, after Kowski, their field goal kicker, misses a pretty routine field goal. Yeah. Did you see Ben Roethlisberger's face on the sideline? Now, listen, it was only to send it to overtime, uh, but he was surprised uh, to see that he missed it. Um, it was probably the pitcher of the weekend, uh, and Pittsburgh goes on to, to win, and they're the only team now that is undefeated um, in, uh, in the NFL. So congratulations to them. Earlier you were asking me about what happened to the New England Patriots. I think you know what happened to the New England Patriots. They got Jeff Wilson. Why is that funny? <laughs> just because Jeff Wilson is just the most common next door neighbor dad body name anybody could ever have. Well, is it because the gentleman is a is a is African American or no, black? No, no, it's just Jeff. Wilson. I, I don't know. I don't know any hey, black buddy. guys that are named Jeff <laughs> Wilson, <laughs> except for one though, and he plays in San Francisco. Well, it's just it's just the Jeff Wilson thing. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Jeff Wilson. How's hey, it going? how you doing? I, yeah. I, I don't think he talks like that. I, I don't think he sounds back. like that. I'm going to score three touchdowns today. <laughs> you want to come over for a barbecue later on? Maybe have some Mai Tais by the pool? Mai Tais. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's like he sounds like your next door neighbor. There's no coolness to the Jeff Wilson name. Unfortunately for Jeff Wilson, um, they left the game with a high ankle sprain at the end of the So game. many injuries yeah. yesterday. A lot of injuries. But anyways. Uh, a lot of close games, too. And there was a lot of great games. The, the Cleveland-Cincinnati game was very close. Cincinnati almost pulls the upset off, but they lose uh, by three points, 37-34. to 34. So it was a pretty exciting week. I think um, everybody kind of had a little bit of a struggle, except for Mike, the Hurricane Andrews, who, uh, who did fairly well for himself yesterday, uh, putting up uh, 12 points. Uh, the national high score was 13, so only missing that by one. And he's in the lead. Uh, remember, he's already been a winner once. He can't be a national, winner again. He's hanging in there nationally, I, I, one would imagine, because, you know, they throw out the worst four scores. He's in the top 18 nationally. Yeah, that's good. So, and number one here on the Central Coast. But he was going into Monday Night Football last week and then lost because uh, his, uh, his, uh, it's all about that tiebreaker score. That's what you got to make sure you put in. Or the final score, not a tiebreaker. We got a uh, little Willie style on the phone with us now. Willie wrote in. He said he was in a standoff. Who were you in a standoff with, Willie? Um. So he was supposed to be a friend of some people I was taking care of. 
Okay, just back up. Just hold on a second. Just back up a little bit. Give us, give us what happened. Okay, so we, the question is, have you ever had to call 911 to get help, to help, you know, um, to narc on somebody? Uh, that's our poll question today. You write in and you say, yeah, I was in a standoff. Where were you at? Well, I was, uh, in my home, at home, uh, but I happened to be, uh, living with an elderly couple. Okay. So, uh, okay. I lived downstairs and they lived upstairs. You said you pulled, he pulled a gun on you? Most definitely. Yeah. And it was the, it, it was her gun. Uh, the woman I was uh, living with. Hold on uh, a second, little Willie style. Are you telling <laughs> me the the man that you lived with pulled a gun on you? No, 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 no. It oh. was her friend. Her friend. Uh, it, it, it was a visitor. I see. So the woman I was taking care of, she kept a gun in her nightstand. Uh, uh, it was a thirty eight special, and uh, they had a visitor come from down south. And and I had I can't even remember the guy's name. I mean, this happened so fast. Uh, but this guy showed up, and uh, he was trying to swindle these people. And next thing I know, this guy come downstairs to where I lived, and he pulled her pistol on me and was trying to assault me. Uh, so at, at my front door, I'm standing at the front door. He came to the front door. You know, he's banging on it. I opened it, and he pulls a gun on me. It tells me uh, that that uh, I needed to leave the property or, or just a bunch of craziness, you know, like uh, he's going to live there now and da-da-da-da-da. So uh, I slammed the door on him, and he kept trying to come in. So I pulled a shotgun and, and let him know that I had a shotgun on the other side of the door, and that's when I called 911. And... uh the sheriff showed up and everything. They arrest him? And, uh, yeah, yeah. This guy happened to have warrants on him. And they told me, they said, yeah, this guy's a criminal. He's a swindler. And, uh, what city? And he what, had other charges on him. What city on the Central Coast did this happen on? This was in Cambria. <laughs> Cambria. Sleepy little town, my ass! Cambria of all places. Come on. <laughs> That's why I call it Cambria, I mean, because in Cambria, this stuff doesn't happen. But in Cambria, watch out. Uh, well, like the you know, when I the lived there, they on. found a body. When I lived there, too, another guy was murdered. Yeah, I remember that story a couple of years ago, like four or five years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, and they found the body down there. And, I mean, I walked that trail all the time. And, and uh, I, I actually lived right down the, where this happened was down the street from where that guy was living. So when, he, when you pulled the shotgun on him, was he like, whoa, dude, this is just a pellet gun? No, no, no. That's a different, that's oh. a different scenario. The, the pellet gun scenario was, was at a Food for Less parking lot. Damn. Okay, sorry. No, I'm, I'm looking at your text. Okay. okay. <laughs> Maybe it's not them. It's you. <laughs> Little Willie style. Ever think of that? I think well, I th I th possibly. I mean, I, I can be pretty confrontational, so <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All right, buddy. Have a, have a good time. I'm in the anger management. <laughs> you know what you should do is go watch this new movie that's out right now, Unhinged. And... uh it's got Russell Crowe in it, and we, I watched it over the weekend. And uh, thanks, Willie. And uh, it's uh, it's. I think maybe it'll calm me down. It'll make me think twice about road raging, or you know, when somebody pisses me off driving. Have you seen the trailer for this Unhinged? No, I have not. It's, it's uh, Russell Crowe, and he's driving this big truck, and he's he's put on a lot of weight for the event. And some woman's like road like honking at him to move at a light and he doesn't go and then he chases her down and it's like the scariest scenario have you ever had somebody follow you after yeah. you did a mm -hmm. little something you, you probably shouldn't have got that aggressive I cut with. off somebody they yeah. got mad at me i uh they and i realized i was doing the wrong but i was defensive because they pulled up to me and they were waving their fist at me and everything and i f i mouthed the words fo <laughs> And then they chased me down. It was it was very it was, was very it, scary. Was it more scary than the guy that you sprayed with window washer fluid uh, with your car, and then uh, he tried to chase? Yeah, you Yeah, this down. was more scary. I was a teenager at the time, and I did it, and um, and I it was it was a situation where he'd followed me for I don't know four or five miles, and I the the highway that we were on was coming to an end, so. You had to go either like you were going to go eastbound or you were going to go westbound. Now, I was going to go westbound, but I knew he was going to follow me wherever I went. 
So I went off, and I like I was going to do eastbound. At the last minute, I swung all the way over and got on the westbound, so I could get off on the westbound, given to where he was. He was tailgating me. He could. There was no possible way he was going to be able to get off. And he eluded him. Yeah, and I was like seventeen at the time. What kind of stunt car driving am I doing on the five eighteen in Seattle? On, uh, well, my best stunt car days were before <laughs> I turned twenty. True. Now I'd probably just call the police. <laughs> All right. Well, Willie, thanks for sharing that story with us. We appreciate it. Uh, I was going to say, what was the uh, the actual numbers here on the vote? It was. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Fifty two percent of people say they have called nine one one to get help. Forty-two uh, percent have said they never called nine one one. I'm in that group. What? And um, and then there's one more here. A Denark on somebody was five percent. So come on, I'm in the five percent on that. <laughs> How many people are lying answering that poll? <laughs> Percentage of people are liars. So, Cameron, you fall into the to get help. I fall into the never done it, and Jeff is a narc. That, that seems about right. Subscribe to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. It's your Central Coast commute-friendly podcast.